Hello, how are you guys? I am so glad you are here today. We are going to be talking about my morning basket. Mount Rushmore. video I said that my next one would be the morning basket and here it is now the morning basket is newer to us it is not something that we have done all the time um, we've been doing it for several weeks now and I will be honest if we are crunched for time or not having a good day this is the first thing that gets dropped but I am trying to get better about making sure we do it every single morning because I really enjoy doing the morning basket and it's just kind of a nice way to spend time together and be learning something. So let's see what there is. All right, so I usually start with a devotion. And right now I'm using this book, um, Hope for Each Day by Billy Graham. And they it's meant for children, but they're just, each day has a little devotion and a verse that goes with the devotion. And it's just kind of a nice way to start things. Then sometimes I will do a hymn and we'll listen to a hymn or sing a hymn or talk about a hymn. And then I was doing memory, uh, memory verse, goodness, why can't I say this? Bible verse memorization. I would pick a verse out of the Bible and we were memorizing it. We have not done very well with that though I will say the last week ish um so we need to get back on that because that was a uh, good for me as well as them so that's kind of how we start then I have added in Spanish and we are just kind of learning mildly some Spanish and this is the book I'm using and it's just different pictures with different words um looks like someone's been looking through here because it's not on the day we were on so like, here's the first page. We started out with these, like dog is el perro, el ratón, is el oso, oh, sorry, el osito. Anyway, <clears throat> so we're kind of going over that and learning um, just a little bit of Spanish. And I try and do like a page a week. All right, sorry. I got a little distracted with somebody. Anyway, um, then we all read, um, a story out of this, Aesop's Fables. I don't know that I really love this or not, but I was trying to bring in some more classical literature that's short and sweet for them just to be exposed to it. So, I don't know, it's not my favorite, but I mean, the book's not real long, so we'll go ahead and finish it and just, I don't know what I'll pick next, I'm looking. If you have any good suggestions, um, leave a comment below because I'd like something that's a short and sweet classical type story to read in the morning basket. Once we finish those, my oldest can go start on his other school if he would like, or he can sit and listen to this, but he has already done this book, so I don't make him sit and listen because he's already been through second grade. But I, we are doing Story of the World for history, but I feel like maybe my second grader is not quite grasping all of it. So I have added this in to the end of our morning basket. It is the second grade A Becca book, Our America. And I just read a little bit, a few pages out of this to her and whoever else wants to listen. A lot of times the other two are in there too, the younger ones. And um, so I just do a little bit of that just so that I know she's getting a little bit of that too. Cause I was happy with the education we were getting with the Abeka curriculum, I just didn't like how long it was taking and it was hard to do with multiple ages because they all were separate. So I tried to find curriculum that was more together and that's why I love Story of the World because it is something we can all do together and we all enjoy, even me. But I just wanted to go ahead and add this in just to read to her. I figure it can't hurt to read a little bit of it and she seems to enjoy. She usually gets something to color and she colors while I just read a little bit. So that is our morning basket, at least for now. Um, I feel like it's something that's kind of changing all the time. Some of it's staple, but you know, I'm adding in and taking away other stuff as I fill. That is what I have for my morning basket. 
If you have some any great ideas that you do in your morning basket that you love, I would love to hear what they are. Please leave a comment below. I'm always looking to improve my morning basket. So thank you so much for watching this and I hope you maybe got an idea or two for your morning basket and I will talk to you soon. Bye.